Good morning, everyone. Here is Ms. Nora again. Today, we will just solve a problem solving revision about the 3D shape and 2D shape that we did it already, and also how to using the fraction in the introduction of fraction like half, third, and fourth. Today is lesson nine. We are going to discuss. Uh, covered the uh, pages 498 until 501. Homework book 207, 208. Let's start. Before we start, let's revise together the name of the 2D shapes. Two dimensional shape. Let me say circle, circle. Square, square, rectangle, rectangle, triangle, triangle, rhombus, rhombus, pentagon, pentagon, hexagon, hexagon, parallelogram. Parallelogram, parallelogram, trapezoid, trapezoid. It's a row and remember the shapes for each one. Here is the circle, sorry. Okay. Let's bring the pen. Okay. Here is the circle. Here is the square. Here is the rectangle. Here is triangle. Here is the rhombus. Look like a guide. Here is the pentagon. Five sides. Here is the hexagon. Six sides and here is the parallelogram. Two opposite sides are parallel. And finally, trapezoid, it looks like a skirt. Let's go to the 3D shapes. Here as I have a sphere. Let me say sphere. Sphere, sphere, rectangular prism, rectangular prism, rectangular prism, cube, 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 cylinder, cylinder, pyramid, pyramid, cone, cone. Let's remember how we draw the sphere. Sphere, it's a circle, but with a third dimension like this. And the rectangular prism is like when you're drawing the tissue box to the first face, second face, third face, and like this. The cube is the same, but all the faces are squares. And here is the cylinder, pyramid that we have a square down and a point up the vertex, and the cone. It's a flat face, like a circle, and the point opposite to it. This is the 3D shapes. So let's continue here. This is first of problem solving in 498. I will read together. We have to know what this shape by this riddle. I am a 2D shape. I have five sides, five angles, and five vertices. What shape am I? Yes, remember 
all of these, all the things are five. Excellent, it's a pentagon. Let's write pentagon together. Pen, sorry, pen, pentagon. The next. I am a three dimensional shape. I have six sides, 12 edges, and eight vertices. All my sides are equal. What shape am I? If the all sides are equal, that means it's a, a squared face. What the squared face with, with, with which dimensional shape, the three dimensional shape? Perfect, it's a cube. Let's continue. I am a three dimensional shape. I have five sides, eight edges, and five vertices. What shape am I? Yes, what do you call this shape? Perfect, it's a pyramid. Here, I am a 3D shape. I am a round. I have no vertices, no sides, and no edges. What shape am I? What do you call the shape? It looks like a ball. Perfect. I'm a sphere. Perfect. Let's see the next. Now you have to open your page uh, 500. Yes, let's read the problem solving together. You remember the four steps for problem solving? Four steps for problem solving, four steps for problem solving, read, understand, make your plan, carry out the plan and check your answer. So here first I will read and then make my plan and solve. I am a two-dimensional shape. I have six sides and six angles. What shape am I? If remember the, the, the five sides is for pentagon. We already solved it now. Now six sides Amazing, it's a hexagon. Perfect. Now, number two. James drew a rectangle and a pentagon. Joseph drew a shape with six sides and six angles. Who drew more sides and angles? So let's talk about James first. Here is James with a J, A, and this is Joseph with J, O. James drew rectangle. Here is the rectangle. How many sides? One, two, three, four. And a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Five and four, nine, perfect. Now, Joseph drew a shape with six sides. What is six sides? Hexagon, it's a hexagon. So Joseph with six. Who drew more, James or Joseph? Six or nine? Excellent, James, so we said, James. Do more sides. Okay, let's go to the third problem. I am a three dimensional shape. I have six sides, 12 edges, and eight vertices. My face 
looks like a rectangle. What shape am I? Yes, which 3D shape has a rectangular face? You can take it from the rectangle name itself. Perfect, it's a rectangular prism. Let's see. All right. Pan. Euler. Prism. Perfect. Let's continue now. Patricia and Brain are thinking about the rectangle shown. Patricia thinks that this rectangle is divided into four because there are four equal parts. Brain says this rectangle is not divided into four because the parts do not do not look the parts do not look the same. Who is correct and explain? Look, teacher, here's you have to focus with me a little bit. Here is already we have a very big what what this rectangle, right? Right. So in the rectangle, I really divide the rectangle into equal half. Let's just change the color. This is the first half, and this is the other half. Both halves are the same. Now, let's just change the color now. If I told you, for this half, did I cut it or divide it into equal parts? Yes, here is the line is in the center. So this part and this part are equal. So the first half is partitioned to two equal fourths, two equal or two equal halves. Let's see the other half. I will change the color with yellow. This is the other half. This half also I divided or I partitioned two equal parts by drawing a line for the opposite corner. So this part is equal to this part and this part is equal to this part and the two halves are equal. So make equal parts of the same part that means all the parts are equal, even if the shape is not the same, even if the shape is not the same. So are these fourth? Yes, they are fourth. So who is right? Yes, excellent. Patricia is right. So let's try it together. So I said, switch in the color. I said, Patricia is correct. Let's say because because in that part these are 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 Wait a minute. Or 
are equal in size but different in shape yes so i have the same half i partition the half into equal parts so making equal parts from two equal parts that means all the four parts are equal even if the shape is not the same even if the shape the shape is not the same now here is number one for the second page let's read it i am two dimensional shape i have four sides four angles and four vertices all the sides are equal what shape am i let me draw so first of all it's only two all the sides are equal yes it's a square perfect number two laura drew a shape with eight sides and eight angles Carol drew a triangle and a trapezoid. Who drew more signs and angles? Let's make a table. Here is Laura with L and here is Carol. Laura drew eight. And uh, Carol drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So who drew more sides and angles? Laura or Carol? Perfect, Laura. Let's go to the next. I am, I am a three, sorry. I am a three dimensional shape. I have one face no edge and one vertex what shape am i yes remember only one face some books they said it has a vertex some books they call it this is apex or point and i want you to call this point or apex so what this shape like this a tree Perfect. It's a cone. It's a cone. Let's see the next. Helen and Carol wanted to share a lasagna equally. The lasagna was in the shape of a rectangle. Here is the shape of the rectangle. Helen said there are only two ways to cut the lasagna in half. Carol said no, there are other ways to cut the lasagna into halves. Who is correct and explain? Yes, remember if I have the rectangle, I want to cut it into half. Yes, how many ways? Excellent. I make it from side up and down, and the other way. This is another side to side. Excellent. And the other way for the opposite corner. So who is right, Helen or Carl? Perfect. It's Carl. So let's write together. So, Carol 
is correct. Why? Drawing the line horizontally horizon. or vertically or from corner to corner. Yes. This is your homework. It's just the same. So simple. Maybe with a one word or two words. Uh, let's read the first. Kenneth has a pizza. He and his sister share the pizza equally. How many, how much? of the pizza does each one of them eat? Can you see how many sides? How many sides, how many shape or how many parts? Yes, find this. So it's only one sister, not eight sister. So I have two each one will take how many? I want to cut or to divide this pizza equally. Let's see the number two. Susan draws a square. She divided it to, into four equal rows and four equal columns. How many squares are there in all? So you have to partition here your square into four equal rows and four equal columns. Remember the rule, how many line you draw? It's the number of the square minus one. Sorry, it's the number of row minus one. It's the number of columns minus one. So here I have to draw three lines with three lines. Number three, I am a two-dimensional shape. I have five sides and five angles. What shape am I? Yes, remember. I am a two-dimensional shape. I have no sides, no angles, and I'm around. What shape am I? Yes, remember, five. Stephen draws four triangles and three pentagons. How many sides does he draw in all? So you have to multiply the number of the sides of each shape by what? By the number of the shape. I have four triangles, four times three, and three pentagons, five times three. What the answer will be, add them together. Number six, I'm a three-dimensional shape. I have two faces, no edges, and two vertices. No, there is no vertices, sorry. What shape am I? I have Two faces only. Yes. Number seven, I'm a three dimensional shape. I have six equal faces. My faces are squares. I'm a square. I'm a square. Yes, with the shape you call it. Number eight, Lara, Maria, and Susan are sharing a sandwich. Each one of them has equal part. How much of the sandwich does each one have? So I have three. Each one have uh, half or quarter, 
four third there are three yeah the last one Kenneth family has lasagna for dinner there are four people in Kenneth family they share the pan of lasagna equally how much of the lasagna does each one of them have yes we have four people perfect so you have to not tell me the name of the fraction it's third or fourth or half that's for today i hope you like our geometry chapter what we call about shape and figures inshallah we will start later after the project we will start with telling time see you soon bye bye